Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've just been saying to my mum I actually edited two YouTube videos last night so I'm very proud of myself. Um, but I am, I am vlogging again today because I've got a couple of things over the next couple of days which I thought would be nice to vlog. So today I'm actually going to the hospital about my moles. We're not too sure what the appointment is actually going to be because on the letter it just said I've got an appointment with a, was it a plastic surgeon? Mm. Or a, yeah, a plastic surgeon. My mum's driving by the way. The kids are in the back. We're gonna drop them off with the dad and then my mum's gonna come to the hospital with me because I didn't want to rock up on my own and <laughs> remove it because I'm a pussy with things like that and I just, I don't know, just want my mum there. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to get my hair done because if you could tell, because I've got like, I've always been blonde and my natural hair is like, obviously a lot lighter than my extensions. It, it's gone really light. But well, apparently that's normal because obviously I've had bleach on it for god knows how many years. So I'm going to go back dark again and then she's going to read a bit of extensions because quite a few have come out. But yeah, I'll update you on the hospital because obviously I'm not going to film in there because that's a bit strange. But I'll say that, I filmed, <laughs> filmed my labour but I don't know. <laughs> So I've just got home, I've got a parcel from Old Polly, parcel from Catch Me, don't really know what that is, don't know what that is. So this is going to be exciting, I'll open all this up for you, show you what I've got, and then, by the way, some of this is going to be a sneak peek, because I'm actually working with Old Polly on TikTok, which is very, very exciting. And yeah, I don't really know what any of this is. I did order the Catch Me stuff because I saw the shirt. <laughs> and I thought, that is a bit of me for summer. But anyway, I'm going to open it all up and show you what I've got, and then... I'll update you on my mole situation because it's a weird one. I cannot stress to you enough how excited I am to get my hair done tomorrow. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know what your hair just needs doing? It needs doing. Right, I'm going to stop waffling and just open these parcels. I've got Delilah's fish and chips in the air fryer. So, I don't want to burn that. Actually, let me just go check that. Honestly, it's so exciting when I come home to this many parcels. Like, it's just great. I love it. Right, we're going to start off with Catch Me. I did order these myself. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I got five. I basically got five shirts for summer, um, all in different colours. I got blue, white, beige, orange and green. I just thought they looked so nice with like shorts or literally anything in summer. I love that vibe of shirt and jeans, you know, stuff like that. So, first we've got the green. I'm sorry, I'm really confused. I've just opened a catch me parcel and it's got a boohoo label. <laughs> what? Right, I'm really confused. What? Does it say it on the others? It says it on the orange one. It says it on the blue one. <laughs> right, I'm so confused. It says it on. It says it on them all, like they're from Boohoo, but I got them catch me. So this is the green one. I'm really sorry about the lighting. Oh, you want to get out now? Come on then. One, two, three, woo! So this is the green one. They're really nice length of what as well. I'm really confused why it says boo. Why does it say boo? Do I need to show you them all? I can't really be asked if I'm being honest because I'm burning a fish and chips. Um, but then I've got a beige one. If you want to see them on, I'll probably end up styling them. I'll probably end up styling them on TikTok. So head over to my TikTok. Um, and then I've got white, I got baby blue, and I got orange. So they're from Catch Me. Next up, um, Public Desire. What? Public Desire. Oh my gosh! I wanted one of these hoodies for the longest time ever. It's one of the Kai hoodies. That's why I was at Public Desire, but yeah, it's part of... Oh. <gasps> this hoodie. How insane is that? This lighting is shocking. I'm so sorry. I need to move house just for the lighting. How unreal is that? That is such good quality as well. Did you throw a welly at baby? Oh, she's passing me the neck parcel. No idea what this is yet again. She's passing me my all my parcels. What's this? Right, I'm confused about this. Have you seen everybody speaking about the Garnier, 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 how do you say it? Um, SPF. Oh, that's just fallen out of the box. I have seen so many people using this SPF and it's like, it fully blows your pores. So I've got the Garnier 
Is it Garnier? I want to say Garnier because that's what I said. The Garnier Skin Active Vitamin C Brightening Anti Dark Spot Serum. This is what that looks like. And then I've got the Vitamin C Daily UV Brightening Fluid Glow. It's got 50 SPF in. Oh! What was Delilah doing then? Delilah was rocking the car seat and knocking him. <laughs> you poor baby! And he's got Delilah's bib on. Um, so it, it says moisturise. Moisturise, protect, and anti dark spots and sheer tint. Very excited. Oh, the box is opened. Very excited to try that. And then we've got Opali. Let me just put him in his seat thing. When my manager messaged me and was like, Ruby, Opali want you to be an ambassador for TikTok shop, I was like, oh, that is like a dream come true. Like, for any girl to work with Opali, like, oh, so excited. But I'm just so glad that I'm getting my hair done tomorrow because then when I get the content, I'm going to have fresh hair and I can actually look good because the past few days I've been looking like this and it's just not acceptable. I'm so happy. So I did select two dresses. This is a proper sneak peek, you know, but I will be linking them on my TikTok shop if anyone is interested in them. My TikTok will probably, probably be up before this video, so I will leave it in the description box down below. The quality of old poly dresses is something else. So the first dress I chose was this beautiful white mini dress. The reason why I chose this mini dress is because it's got long sleeves. And um, for me personally, I like to have my arms covered. Says the one in a t-shirt right now. But do you know what I mean? Like, how beautiful is that? And I love, I absolutely love how it's an open back. So it's going to be extremely flattering. And I just need somewhere to wear it now. Can I just have that a second, please? Oh, you can play with that. There you go. Can you burn broccoli? You can't burn broccoli, can you? Because I've just got a broccoli on the hob. Right, this one, I got this purposely for the colour. Recently, I am really, really liking the colour red. So, how does this work? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This. Wait. Oh, my days. This. This is going to look so, so good on. So this is the colour, it's like a burgundy deep red and it's a mini dress again. I am obsessed. I just need somewhere to go. I just need friends to go out with, do you know what I mean? I think that is one of my most favourite hauls I've done in a while. So thank you to Old Polly, Garnier and Public Desire for sending me those things. Still a bit confused on the Boohoo labels on the Catch Me stuff, but <laughs> I don't know, it's not my problem, is it? Hi everyone, so it is the day after I last spoke to you. I know I said I was going to give you a mole update yesterday, but... I don't know, I felt quite like overwhelmed with it all, so I didn't really want to speak about it. I am going to do, I did post on my Instagram story explaining that I'm having three moles removed. Initially I went just thinking it was about one, because obviously the nurse said two were fine, but the plastic surgeon looked at them and was like, mm, right, definitely, we're taking them all off. Sorry. So yeah, that's that really. I'm getting all three removed, two on my chest, one in my groin. Since I spoke about it on my TikTok and my Instagram, a lot of people have come forward asking to see them. Um, and obviously I am raising awareness about it. Obviously I don't know the outcome as of yet, but regardless, it is so important that you do get your moles checked. I think I'm gonna do a separate video all on the mole situation from like the start to up to date now, because I've had them for years and years and years and I have from time to time if i've had doctor's appointments i have asked for their opinion and they said no they're fine they're fine but i will do a separate video just based on that and i'll try my best to show you photos of them as well because that's another question everyone's been asking me if i can show photos but if you do think that any of your moles just don't look right like it's better to be safer than sorry so just go to your gp ask um the process that i did was i rang up my gp i said hi i've got a few moles that i'm not happy with and uh, please could someone have a look at them and then they put me in with a nurse and then the nurse referred me to plus to yeah to plastics which is like the plastic surgeon category or something um some people do go go down the dermatology route but apparently that wait is even longer than the plastics so that is why my nurse referred me because i was an urgent referral I know it is quite daunting, um, but I feel like for me, as a mum now, I do overthink my health an awful lot because, especially recently with the mole situation, it does petrify me, like, getting poorly and me not being here and leaving my kids behind, like, that has been on my mind a lot and that's the first time I've actually said that out loud. 
I've just drove to Wales to get my hair done and that sounds crazy I know but it's definitely worth the drive so you can't really see but I've took my extensions out I'll put a photo of my natural hair here um I've just done some like before transitions for tiktoks of it i'm gonna go darker and maybe a little change but i need to speak to my hairdresser to see what she thinks but anyway i need to go in because my appointment is literally now so let's go get my hair done i am obsessed i've gone darker i had a little bit of a trim i was gonna go shorter but i didn't and she's cut like my bangs a bit shorter um so i could have it like as a messy fringe at the front or to the sides i've just been playing with it i have stopped off at a service station on the way home just to get a coffee so i'm about to go in there now but honestly i am obsessed like i'm so happy with it amy is just the best if anyone is wondering my hairdressers are on instagram is hair by amy lewis i think it's on screen now anyway she's honestly insane and when i was blonde that is who i used to go to as well and oh, i'm just obsessed ignore my makeup it's come off my forehead but oh, i'm so happy oh God, am i the world's embarrassing daughter yeah. <laughs> we're at costco we've come we've come to costco for food for frankie's christening tomorrow this is how dangerous costco is they're now looking at bloody speakers if you ever come to Costco, make sure you get these cookies. They're the best cookies ever. So this is the food we've got so far. We've got two lots of cookies, some pasta salad, two lots of wraps, two lots of them sandwiches, two lots of them sandwiches, some sushi. And then I got this for, obviously Frankie can't have chocolate yet, so this is for like Delilah for Easter. And then my dad has treated her to this dress. How cute is that? On today's episode of Steve at Costco, he's got a new tie. Couple sandwiches, got a new trolley. Yeah. I'm having that. <laughs> this is his new toy for Angle, so I said he can wear one more more minute when she's had too much to drink. We've started getting the testers around the shop but we started off with some rice. <laughs> oh. Loads of Easter eggs. Um there's more on that side, but I think I wanna get Delilah one of these because Easter is actually really soon. This is so random, but I've ordered a chippy for me and Delilah. Delilah is having a nap, but I've got her something anyway. I can just warm it up. I got fish and chips. Actually, let me play it up and I'll show you. So I literally just got a small fish, some chips. There's loads of chips left over there in that tub thing. And then Delilah's got sausage and chips. And then I also got a pot of gravy. I love to dip my chips in the gravy. And then I just got a couple of drinks as well. I'm so happy. The plates and the napkins for the christening have actually arrived on time. So these are the plates and napkins. I think I got them from some party delights online or something. And they were in the sale as well, which I'm buzzing about. I literally look like I've had zero sleep and that is because yeah, last yeah, night yeah. I had the worst night's sleep ever. Frankie actually slept free because the past week or so he's had really broken sleep. Um but it is the morning of frankie's christening i am excited but i'm also shitting myself as well just because circumstances are completely different compared to delilah's and i don't know i just feel really like anxious and nervous about it i don't know even though it's all going with family i just oh, i don't even know it's hard it's hard to explain how i'm feeling right now but i'm sure it'll be a good day regardless of the situation. Oh, have you got mummy's phone? Mummy. Have you got mummy's phone? Mummy. You can say hello. Mummy. Yeah. Daddy. Daddy. Hello. Hello. Daddy. <laughs> mummy's. Yeah. Mummy. Yeah. Mummy. But on that note, I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you want to see Frankie's christening Mummy. and how that goes, that will be uploaded in the next vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And they need to give a big thumbs up, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.